All right, in this video, we are going to show you as a student how to check your grades. Now, when you log into Moodle onto your dashboard, you come in, you've got, you know, your course overview with your different courses here, and you can go into each course to see how you're doing. But you can also come up to this little icon right here. If you haven't uh, created a profile pic, then it's probably just going to be uh, the initials of your first and last name. But if you click on that little uh, icon, you get this little drop down menu and right here you have grades. You select grades, it'll take a second, and then it'll actually pull up, you know, it'll tell you right here, courses I am taking, list all of your courses, and list how you're doing within each of them currently. And if you want to figure out, okay, well, you know, am I missing anything in any of the courses, then you would have to go into each of them. So you could go into, uh, say, this course right here, and if you give it a second, it will then bring up your grades in this course, right? And so now we see this is the course total that we saw on that previous page. And then it gives us all the assignments that are in this course and our grades. Now, in this case, we see there's a lot of grades that have been filled in that tells us we either did them or we missed the opportunity to do them or the instructor had put in zeros, but that may mean, depending on your instructor, you can still submit them. Okay, so this course, there's stuff that I had, haven't done yet or had had done. But what if there's a course where there aren't necessarily grades or there isn't feedback, such as in this course where this is the only thing that has been graded. So if I want to go in, this tells me with the absence of feed, feedback or grading, um, this might tell me that, oh, these are assignments that I have to do. So that's really what you want to do is you just kind of go in and you check each of the courses. Um, here's another good example of here's one. And what we see here is a series of where it says grades. We just see a series of dashes that tells me I haven't submitted or I haven't submitted anything or if I've submitted it, it hasn't been graded yet. So this is a course I haven't done anything. So I just might go in and step by step make my way through each of the weeks and each of the different assignments. So, and this is the other cool thing about doing it this way is most of the assignments are, uh, I can tell are assignments that I submit within Moodle. And I can tell that because they're links, right? So when I hover my mouse over it, notice how it turns into that little um, hand icon. That means I can click on this link versus this one up here, which is just text, right? So it's an assignment, but it's one that is done outside of Moodle. So this is the one-on-one -on -one appointment. This might be something where like, I actually just have to email the instructor and then they will come in and manually uh, grade it. Oh, otherwise I can go in and submit things. So if this was the assignment, I can click on the assignment. I'm like, oh, I need to do this. Now I have my, you know, my instructions. I have a video. I have expl explanation of how to submit and the add submission button. Um, so that really works great for that. If it is a different type of an assignment, if it is a discussion, then I would click obviously on that link as well. And now I'm in a discussion. I've got the prompts. I've got some options. I can scroll down. And then when I'm ready, I can add a discussion. When it's time or when I've been graded, I can also view the grade when I'm in this particular item. So that's really, you know, the, the easiest way to do it is, as I said, you come up to your little icon up here and you go to grades. But of course, whenever you're in any course, um, when you go into the course, one of the cool, one of the easiest ways to also do it when once you're in the course is um, right up here, you have participants and you have grades. So you can always select grades. And once again, that will bring you your user report for grades. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this makes sense about how and where to find grades. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.